Hello and welcome back. I'm Atlikas here and this is the second part on the tutorial on how to make a pony in Inkscape. So in this part of the tutorial of the tutorial we will be covering how to color the body and fill it with color of course. So we will start by opening the layers again. So I still have to file I still have to start the vector from last time which will help us to finish the outline of the body so let's start with that right away so now we have the background which you can see you can toggle with the little eyes and we have we have the outline of the body so what what you want but what we now want is the outline of the whole body but just in one piece, so we can fill it. Uh, the way I do it is I copy all of the lines and merge them. So I will show you how to do that. So, okay, so let's start doing this by first creating a new layer. So we call it fill and just add it. And we want it to be under the outline. So we we click the lower the current layer button which is here until the fill is under outline top. Then we are going to select all of the all of the outlines we have and you uh, copy and then we're just going to hide them all because we don't need them anymore and you uh, edit and paste in place. There we go. Now that pasted just in one layer just how we want it. So now comes the bit more tedious part but normally it goes quickly. We want to merge them. So let's start that by selecting um, outer nodes that have not been put together yet like these two here and you can use the button Sorry. Um, you can use this button here to make a new segment between these two. So as you can see, new segment. Then there are these type of uh, of uh, breaks, I would call them, because there is not a continuous line. But this one's easy as well. This one is easy as well to uh, to rectify. Is you just select, just select one of the nodes. Let's say we take the big one here, we select it, and you double click there where you want to be the new start of the line. So let's say here. So we have a new line, and which means you can remove the first one, with no, no, no problems, and then select the second one. To find it, there you go. With shift, so press shift, and you click on it to add it to the selection. And as you can see, the two are pretty much one over another, over another. Sorry. And then you select them both by, well, by selecting them, and you press this button here, join selected nodes. Done, and now they're joined. So we got the hind leg fully merged to the body. We have the rump. Now we need to continue doing the neck, which is not visible here, but we will do it anyway. Then the ear, and the f the, the right side of the eye. Okay, let's start doing that. So, to continue editing an already existing f path, you select it, and then you choose again the Draw Busy Curves tool, and just click one of the ending points, and continue to make your line. So let's do let's do that. It's going to make it like this. There we go. Then go a bit kind of back again. Go up there, and we go down here. Okay. So then we choose the edit path by nodes function. So as we can see, actually you don't really see the neck going in so we will just put it right here and continue doing the ear so the ear like that 
is. Remember that the ear isn't is smooth, so don't remember to put in the smoothing. Almost. Mm. Yeah, that looks good. Then this part here, which I'm just going to put a bit upwards. So, this and then this part where it should be as well smoothed because it looks better like that way. Then comes this part. Um, you need to merge them. So, we're going to put this one a bit higher and create a new point and put it there, remove the old one and join the two. There we go. Now we have a fully now we have a fully uh, full path which has no holes in it. As you can see there are no holes. So uh, now you can delete actually the front the front legs. and the behind, behind leg because they are not part of the body in the in the way we are seeing it because the vectoring works by layers and the front leg is in a in a layer other than the body so it it doesn't belong to the body per se but of course in the pony it still does so and don't worry about the neck looking weird and the head as well because they will all be covered by the hair later on so you don't have to put that much detail into them or at all actually because you, you won't be able to see them so let's continue by coloring the coloring um, the body so we already had one colored and the, in the front leg so you just can select it and open the fill dialog again which you can open in case you closed it by control shift F which opens the fill and stroke dialog and you can see here that the fill color is this one which I'm going to copy it then select our whole body and go to the fill put in a flat color and the right, the right color. So now that we have the, the basic outline of the body done, we can put in the behind legs again and we can now fill as well the second leg. We forgot to do that last time. So I'm just going to fill it by t taking the fill color of the other one copy it, put in a flat color and paste it. There we go. As you can see it already starts to look like a pony. But we're not quite there yet as it still needs hair. But we will be doing that next time. <laughs>